And problem 26, we've moved out of the South. Now we're looking at Douglas Fir in California. And so we don't have those SDIs memorized. So it's been provided 600 10 inch trees per acre is their max SDI. And here it's the same problem we've been doing in problem 25, 23. Um, except here, if you'll look at it, you'll see that we have basal area and tree spraker, but we do not have Q and D. And we know we need Q and D for SDI equation. So let's look here at um, our initial step to calculate Q and D. We've been given the equation Q and D equals, um, in this case, it's going to be basal area 190 divided by tree spraker, 275. So that's our first step. Then we divide that by 0 0.005454, get that number. And then we take the square root of that. And so that's your correct order of operations. And uh, when we look at uh, what that's gonna be, uh, we find that our Q and B in this example is 11. 0.3 inches. Okay, so now it's back to our same three step problem, right? So one, SDI equals tree breakers 275 times 11.3 over 10 raised to 1.605 power. And if we plug that in, uh, let's see here, SDI is going to equal 334.6 10-inch tree spray. Step two, relative density equals SDI divided by max SDI. So we know in this example, we've been given that our max SDI is 600 for Douglas fir. We just calculated SDI at 334.6. So when we look at this, relative density is 55.8%. Now I don't have what the management zone is for you for Douglas fir in California. That 30 to 45%, remember, is for Southern Yellow Pond here in the US South. So that may not apply, but it, it doesn't matter. For just about any species, when you hit 50 to 60% relative density, you're anticipating self-thinning and density of the head of mortality. So step three, interpret that number. Then that's suggesting that your stand is just about to, if it hasn't already, start self-thinning itself, so then it capture that mortality. So there's another problem out of the South now, focusing on calculating relative density and interpreting it to determine a thin recommendation.